Hi there, this is Heather. Um, I am here live for another DIY Wednesday. And today we're going to be making a sugar scrub. And I thought the sugar scrub would be fun because it's almost Mother's Day. And it's just a super, super quick um, thing you could make. That's like only two or three ingredients. Two or three ingredients it takes about five minutes maybe less so this is gonna be really really quick um so I have my mason jar right here it's just like kind of like one of the baby ones you get they sell them in like big packs um so I have my mason jar here and the two ingredients I'm using is um I'm using just sugar um, mine happens to be organic sugar, but you don't have to use organic sugar if you're only doing a, sh if you're only doing a sugar scrub. Um, and I have coconut oil. So, and then I also have um, some essential oils that I'm going to add to make it smell good and add all kinds of nice skin benefits and things like that. So first, um, this is, again, it's super easy. Um, it's so easy. I'm not even going to give measurements because it's more of a ratio thing. So the ratio of sugar to coconut oil is 50-50. So I'm going to do half sugar in my jar and half coconut oil. That way, no matter what size container you have, you're always going to have like a nice amount. Does that make sense? So I'm going to start with the dry one first. So I'm going to pour my sugar about halfway into my jar. So I'm opening it up and I have kind of paper towels underneath as a safety because I tend to make a mess. So this is just like my insurance. All right. So I'm pouring the sugar into my jar. And for me, for the sugar scrub, the consistency I like, I like there to be more sugar than like liquid. So I tend to do just a little bit more. That's just my preference, how I think it's good. So, but you can, you know, obviously do for your preference or whoever you think, you know, you're making it for would like as well. So there is my sugar that's about you know, if I'm going to fill it up to here, then that's about half, maybe a little bit more. And then, so I have that. And by the way, you could also use, like, the sugar I'm using is really fine. I don't know if you can see it, but you can use, like, grittier, like, bigger sugar granules if you want. That might, almost might, might work better for you. Um, so anyways, there's my sugar. So now I'm going to open my coconut oil. And this is fun because um, my lid is stuck because I don't know if you noticed, but last time this is the same coconut oil I used for the lip balm. And last video we used it, it was solid and now it's liquid. So now I have to get it open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the knife trick. So um, this is what I do when I can't open things. The first thing I do, I can't believe I'm showing you this, but I guess we're doing it, is I just hit it with a knife to make like dents in the top and then it opens. So I'm gonna do my knife trick. I guess I'm just too impatient to wait for warm water. And then I'm just always paranoid that it's gonna like, um, like get inside whatever I'm opening. So I like try other stuff. But, oh, and it worked. Okay, so it came off. I'm glad that worked. So now I'm gonna pour my coconut oil into my jar. I'm gonna fill it like about here. I just wanna give it some room. I don't want it to be too full. So I'm pouring it just like that, as you can see. There we go, lifting it up, kind of doing it over the towel. I'm gonna let, rest it on my paper towels so that way, um, so that way if any drips, it gets on the towel and not my stove. And then I'm just taking my knife and I'm literally just stirring it. Whoops. And that's how easy it is, literally. I feel like it needs even more sugar. So I'm gonna add sugar because there's this liquid at the top. So I'm gonna add in the sugar. There we go, just to give it the consistency that I want. There we go. It's good. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Okay, so I have, as you can see, I have a bunch of sugar and I have my coconut oil and I'm stirring it to make sure that it's a good consistency. And as it sits too, it'll get more liquidy. 
So again, that's why. Okay, I guess my connection cut off, um, but I don't know how much you lost, but I um, just added a little bit more sugar, and so now it's the consistency that I want it. And that's it's the kind of thing you can kind of play with to see what, you know, consistency you want. That way you're not like stuck to like a measurement. But start with 50-50, that'll be like a good base. Um, so it's all done. And as you can see the consistency, it's like, it's kind of like a paste, almost like a paste. So that's how it looks. So you can see it that we're from where you are. So now I'm gonna do the fun part and I'm gonna add my essential oils. So I've decided that the essential oils I'm gonna do in my mom's, this is for my mom, are uh, Stress Away and Peppermint. I like the Stress Away because if you smell it, it smells really, really good. Um, it has kind of like a lime, vanilla, type of smell but it's like kind of also kind of um smoky because it has cedar wood in it and I just think it's like really calming and relaxing and if you're putting a sugar scrub on your skin you probably want to feel relaxed right it's supposed to make your sense your skin soft and it's supposed to be like you know relaxing so I'm gonna put a lot in here I'm gonna put about 10 drops so I'm just dropping it okay um and then I'm going to put in 10 more drops of peppermint. And any of these DIY things, if you ever use essential oils, then you kind of want to put in a lot because you want to make sure it like gets in there and it's effective and all that stuff. So I'm going to put in 10 drops of peppermint. Um, I'm adding the peppermint so like it feels like super tingly, like, you know, on your skin, it has like that nice, like tingly feeling um, afterwards. So you feel like you just did something nice for yourself. So now I'm stirring it. Of course, you always want to stir it to make sure it gets all incorporated in there. So I'm stirring. I think my mom is going to love this. Yes, and I feel like a smell test. I think it smells good. I smell like an equal amount of stress away and peppermint. I think it's a good ratio, so I'm going to leave it. Um, so... I think that's good. And some other oils you could use too, since it's going on your skin. Like what a sugar scrub is, if you're not familiar with a sugar scrub, you put it on your, you know, put the scrub on your skin and you like, and it like it's supposed to scrub off all your dead skin cells and like exfoliate and then you rinse it off with water and when you're done, your skin feels like super soft and amazing. Um, and so if another thing you might want to add to it, like I, I added these oils because they smell good, but you could add like, nice skin oils to it like lavender and frankincense are really good at supporting the skin and they smell amazing so if you wanted to just like add even more skin benefits you could do that or you could go for smell like i did either way um find something to make it smell good so that is that so now i'm gonna take one of my paper towels and kind of wipe wipe around the top wipe the inside of the rim just so it doesn't you know, it looks clean. It doesn't look all messy in case you made a mess like I did. See, I told you I was going to make a mess. <laughs> anyway, so I'm wiping this off. And then I'm going to put my lid, my mason jar lid back on. Because it is to my liking. And then I'm going to put some ribbon around it because it's a Mother's Day and it's a gift and you want it to look pretty. So I'm going to tie just you know, a uh, bow of this ribbon around it. But what you could do will be really cute. You can buy those like cute little like cardboard tags. They sell at Michael's. You can write like, you know, uh, sugar scrub or like, like lavender sugar scrub if you put lavender in it. And you can kind of put the recipe on the back too so she can make it for herself if she wants to. Um, if I had tags right now, that's what I would do. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna put the bow and make it look pretty. So I have my scissors, I'm cutting it, and I'm just tying it around the jar, and we are almost done, and I have one of my mother, Mother's Day gifts done. All right, well, so actually I'm going to tie it up further so it stays on, and you could use like tape, you could get really creative with it, but I'm just going to go this route. So, yes, I'm going to tie, maybe I'll tie in like a knot first, and then I'll make a bow because 
that seems to make more sense. <gasps> Look at that. Almost there. Okay. And finish up my bow. All right, so there is my sugar scrub with my bow. And then I can give it to my mom and she's gonna be so happy. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, um, I'm gonna post a link to be in my VIP list where I'm gonna send kind of more like homemade DIY videos like this. If you also found value in this video, go ahead and share it. Again, I'm doing this every Wednesday for my DIY Wednesday and thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.